Hey there, this is Steve Blaze, and I'm here with another cool drawing tip of the day. Today's drawing tip is a tech tip. It's using Google Drawing, um, a great kind of hidden app within the Google Drive suite of apps. It is a very simplified version of Adobe Illustrator, allowing you to create vector images that you can edit in any other program. So first, let's get started. I'm gonna go into Google Drive here, select plus, and then I'm gonna to go to more than Google Drawings. First thing I'm gonna do is label this. Cool beans, we're gonna create a simple coffee-based logo, because I love coffee, coffee addict, proud to admit it. Just finished my third cup today. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the color of the background. I don't want, this is just a clear background. So I'm gonna right click, go to background, select custom, and I have a couple of colors I'd like to use. So I'm, here's a hexadecimal code, which you can find different hex color codes online and different color schemes. So I'm gonna go in here. Get a nice blue to start with. Now, to get familiar with the tools, you have File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Arrange, and different tools up here like Spelling. Down here, you have Undo, Redo, Print, Paint Format, Zoom, Select, various Line Tools, Shape Tools, Text Box, and Insert Images and Comments. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite tool, the polyline tool. You can create virtually any shape. Sometimes they can be a little angular, but you can modify it to look quite round. So I'm gonna create a simple coffee bean. And we're gonna start somewhere in the middle. Doesn't really matter where, I can always move it. And the, the key to using this tool is to make sure not to click the lines too close together or the line will stay aligned and not turn into a shape. However, the more points you make, the rounder it will appear. The shape that you're trying to create. Now, I don't have to be perfect here. I'm making a simple coffee bean. Now here it turned to kind of like a light bluish color. That's the default color. That's okay for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here. I don't want a border color. That's this black line on the outside of the shape. So what I'm gonna do is gonna select transparent. Now you notice if I click off of it, there's no outline. Again, select the shape again. I'm gonna go back to the fill color. Okay, I'm gonna select custom and I wanna grab this particular, it's like a very, very light blue sort of color, just about white. Now I can come back, let's go ahead and edit the shape a little bit. So we have our shape, I'm a little bit pointy right there, so I'm gonna double click the shape. Notice I get the little purple dots, those are every point that I clicked when I was making the shape. So I wanna just kind of pull out a few shapes few points, excuse me, to modify it to make it look a little bit nicer. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now I click off of it, I, I'm back to my, my bean shape. Now I wanna take this particular shape and duplicate it. So I'm gonna select the shape, and then we're gonna go to edit, duplicate, duplicate, or control D. Now I'm gonna take this shape, right click on it, select Rotate and then flip horizontally. Now we'll take this shape and we'll line it up with the other. So here I'm going to select the shape on the left, then also while holding the control button, select the shape on the right, and then I'm going to right click and group them together. So any of the changes I make will affect both of them. So let's center the shape. You notice the red line that came up when I slid the shape? That means it's horizontally centered. So that's a good spot to be. You can go up a little higher if you want. Now I'm gonna add a little text in, then we're just about done. I'm 
I'm going to select select a nice font and we're going to change the color of the font to this sort of aqua color I'm going to change the size a little bit larger, make it that large. 